Hello everyone, today we got one HP MB 17 inch laptop. The problem with it is the cooling fan is not working. This is really high configured laptop, so that's why um, uh, it need a lot of lot of uh, active work from the cooling fan because the machine get really hot, okay? And mostly when you do video editing, of course, it, it put a lot of pressures on the processor. That's why it's get hot and, you know, sometimes the cooling fan get damaged okay so today we're gonna replace it I will show you how to do that by the way that was the replacement which one was broken all right so first what you need to do this one is quite straightforward but you really need to know because HP they always put the screws underneath the rubber pad you know the rubber pad okay so first take out your battery lot of screws so you really need to organize all the screws and second thing is take out this from the front okay this is bottom but at the front okay two great in there take it out and obviously you need to put it in a clean surface otherwise the silicon goes in and you can't reuse it okay this one as well fine so now three screws from the battery back which is very small and tiny open it up okay so put it in the same place um, this is not that much magnetic and the back cover secure with one screw which is that one and just pull it out it's fine okay so now a lot of screws so I'm gonna start from the back first Okay, and this is the longest one in here. One. Two. That's the longest. Okay, and then rest of them are same in size. One, two, three. Also, we need to unplug some flex cable connector, okay, otherwise it would not come off, okay, that's fine. fine. Okay, now another these two screw, they are also secondary smaller, as you can see in here. Mr. Movie Table Computer. So there are two, and now okay. a few minutes later because we are experimenting, it's done already, just to show it to people how to do that, okay. okay. Loads of screws, so you don't need to worry, there are only four different kinds of screws. Okay, once you organize then it's very easy to put it back. Otherwise, you know, sometimes you get confused. Okay, and if you try the bigger screws in a small hole, it could be break easily. Okay. So this is the optical disk drive. We keep it separate. And un underneath the optical disk drive, there are three different screws. Okay, if you don't open it, you can't take it out. Okay. So this is the one. Keep it separate, these three. Okay, I know already the sizes, so I'm not worried. But if you really this is your first time, then you must have to organize it. Okay, you can put some note in there. Okay, so it seems most of the screws already been taken out. Still some left. Okay, double check. All right, let's check here. There are more. So now this is the time to remove some flex cables from the connector. So first, I believe that one. Okay, or DD, we taken out. Second one is the CMOS battery. 
fine okay and uh, third one is that one I believe one second we're gonna take out the hard drive okay. fine and of course that one this is I believe the speakers one okay the best way to open this up the teaser sorry okay put it in both side pull it out see how easy it is okay and now this connector might be you need to take it out just leave, unplug it anyway okay and this is the one I believe rest that all of them we can leave it as it is okay so first what you need to do once you've taken out all the screws double check again as I can see there is none of the screws left okay so this part is gone now we're gonna open it okay we need a flat tool any flat tool something like that okay so you need to just find a gap in between these two okay and push it down Yeah. Carry on, fine. Okay, once this side is done, flip it around and try this part. Okay. See how easy and simply it came out. Okay. See. That's the one. Okay. Once you take it out, close the laptop. Once you close it, it would be like this. This cooling fan comes with two security screws. One is in here. Fine. Another one is there. Okay. I already replaced it. This is only just for the tutorial purposes. It was exactly in here. Okay. So once you take it out, I put some extra tape just to you know, seal it. Okay. So once you take it out, one sec, one, one, two, okay, okay, that's the one. Okay, so that is the previous fan, which one is already damaged, okay, it doesn't work and we got the error message on the actual boot up screen. Okay, so we'll try it, we'll put it back, okay screws again okay. we need to reconnect the connector make sure you reconnect it if you don't uh, uh, that's the common mistake people does normally they put it on the place and forget to put the connector back which is a problem and seal it okay the reason I sell it because all the years will come through the gap I mean to the condenser to make it cooler okay so once it's done then it's very simple do the same thing again you just need to reverse it it's very simple put it back in here okay that's fine I believe I put the screws already yeah it's fine now we'll put the ODD is flex. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's connect it here. Then every single connector just reverse it. Okay, fine. Then obviously this connector. Very simple. Okay. okay. And the hard disk drive connector here, flex. Yeah. Now the CMOS. There is one more thing. Once you take out the CMOS, might be the date and time would be go back to the default when it produced so you need to adjust the date and time okay so 
first of all what I would like to do these two screws at the bottom fine okay and then the second this one that's absolutely brilliant and uh, two long screws in here Three small screws underneath the battery. If you can put it from the top, is better. People can see where we are doing. Okay, two, three. Now another few of them still on the battery underneath. One, two. Now three screws, don't forget to put it on underneath the optical disc drive, which is here. Okay, so those video just for the beginner, like if you're no IT expert, but you wanna replace your cooling fan, either the keyboard or replace the hard drive, whatever you need to do uh, in uh, purpose of getting access into the machine. Okay, and then we need the optical drive to put it back on. screws brilliant It doesn't go. go. That's fine. I think that was missing from the beginning, I believe. Okay. Okay, so it seems all of them almost gone. Now, this is the time to reconnect your hard drive. Okay. Put the head first, then push the bottom. All right. So let's double check. Okay, there's one more screw to secure this panel. And here is another one. this is the time to put the back cover first don't try to put the battery if you do you can put it back on okay so connect this side first okay bend it a little bit just to get in in there as you can see I did it and it's secured with one screw okay Shit. now it seems it's not this is the time to put the battery back on and just to seal the pad and now we'll turn it on and see if there is any error message for the cooling fan okay open it up since it's starting i can feel the air cool air is coming out Okay, as you can see, it says the CMOS reset, of course, because we've taken out the battery. So we're going to just hit enter to reboot the system. Okay. Okay. HP logo in here. So 
So it seems it's ready now. Okay, we're gonna check the date and time. so it's absolutely fine the boot was stable and that's how you replace your uh, cooling fan if you get any problem hopefully you like this video if you do like please hit the like button and if you do subscribe that would be great thank you so much for watching and bye for now